Drum roll, please. Season 5 is here, guys. It is here. And it is lit, baby. Let's get into it. So, first things first. You know, if you're a new player to Realm, let's go over the very basics of what you need to do when you start. So, we are currently level 5, okay? But what you'll notice is, is if you just start out, you're going to have an empty space here. So, you need to build yourself a headquarters, okay, guys? And then you have four slots open up next to it in a sort of like a plus sign, okay? You want to build... A training facility, a factory, a housing, and a storage vault, okay? You then press the upgrade button, and then you want to upgrade your materials, okay? So when you first start out, you want to get these from level 1 to about level 3, and upgrade this to level 3 as well. And then you'll have a transport depot, a housing, a storage vault, headquarters, factory, research lab, and training facility, okay guys? So... What we're going to do is we're just going to go through the missions, claim our rewards, and just give you an overview as to what's happened so far in Season 5, okay? So, first things first, we have a Level 5 mission here. We have 66 helpers, which are cyborgs, okay? The reason I have done cyborgs is because it uses RLM, okay? Now, what's the difference between that? Well, RLM is the token you earn from your leader, okay? So, my leader is currently earning me 11.52 RLM per hour, okay? So, if I was to do training, and it's 1.56, okay? So, I'm having to spend around 75 RLM, and I'm kind of losing RLM at this stage, okay? But that's fine, because we want to be progressing in the game as quickly as we can. So, a level 4 mission with 290 resources, we're just going to get this done as well. Uh, those resources are quite handy. So, when you're just starting out, right, you're going to see missions. So, what you want to do is... There's a daily mission down here. I probably wouldn't recommend that straight away because it's really hard. You see, even with 31 cyborgs, it's a 23% chance of success. So maybe not worth doing right now. But you can see we actually have some, uh, some stuff to do here. So we have 1,600 resources. We're completely full on resources. We're generating 43 a minute. So we're going to go upgrade. We're going to go upgrade our factory, which is going to give us a nice two resource generation bonus every 15 minutes. Now, you might see this screen and go, building cost minus 4% and building speed plus 10%. How has Lino got this? So, let's show you, okay? So, we've just done the upgrade. We're going to go to our truck and we're going to claim it. Now, I actually have some boosts on, guys. So, if your numbers aren't the same as mine, that is why, okay? So, then we go to research. This is where you can actually start to research and get some really nice discounts. So, you can see here, I have a second research grant. Okay, so I can actually go and put another research lab down. And likewise, I can actually go and do a research up upgrade. So leaders, you can upgrade your team size and your leader bonus. So I've just upgraded my common leaders just by one step. Helpers, you can reduce the cost and you can also reduce the speed. So we're going to go down to Cyborg. And we're actually going to go reduce the cost by 5%, which is going to save us a little bit of RLM. Now for the video's sake, we're going to speed this up. And we're actually going to do it this way. So spend 26 RLM and it's going to make it considerably cheaper, okay? And then we're going to go over to another one. So we're going to go to the Doctor, which is the second one I'm using. And we're going to do that as well. And we're going to speed it up, okay? Lovely stuff. So now we have just made these Doctors a little bit cheaper. So instead of being 39, they're 37. Instead of being 45 seconds, they're 41. So that's going to really help us. And then here, we're going to go and build a research lab, okay? So you can't build a second research lab unless you have this unlocked and it's a thousand RLM. So get ready to spend on that. But now we have two research labs. We can do two researches at the same time, which is a massive difference. Okay. And because it's quite a low level, we're just going to quickly upgrade it. And that, that is going to allow us to now do different levels of research. Okay. So it's important you guys know the levels required. Okay. So if we go to this research lab which is level three you can see i can actually do different ones so it's important that you do the highest level research in the highest level research lab all right makes sense right but if you just go and do this you might be wasting an opportunity okay so what we're going to do we're going to go maybe look at the building cost reduce um training cost reduced training speeds and they're looking like two thousand resources which is a uh, quite a lot guys so we don't have anywhere near that and we actually don't even have enough to get near that so what we're going to need to do is upgrade our storage facility okay so that's 960 we can go and claim this there we go so 960 perfect amount that's going to take two and a half hours but it's going to give us a really healthy 600 bonus which is massive 
Um, we can't do that because the factory is currently upgraded. So we're going to go and spend some RLM to reduce that by a massive chunk. Now, if you're on a budget and you don't have this stuff, you know, don't go and spend your RLM on, on speeding up stuff, you know, because it's not going to be worth it for you guys, okay? But if you have some stuff and you have some RLM, you know, go and do it. But don't expect to make money doing this because you're probably going to end up losing money doing this, right? So <laughs> that's how kind of how it works for me. So we're going to do another mission. You can see I actually have some items. So these items make a massive difference for me, okay? So these items, the mission success is 3% higher and the mission speed is 20% higher. So that allows me to have an 87% chance rather than 84% chance. And the speed is actually now 24 minutes and a 24% bonus. So that's a really nice little position there. We're going to go to research and we're just going to go and pump up some uh, celebrity team sizes and general team sizes because... You know, we're going to need it eventually. As you get later in the game, the team sizes become a real problem if you don't have the right leaders. So it's important you get those leveled up as quickly as you can, in my opinion. So we have general going. We're going to do celebrity. We're going to do the hacker. Um, now, I'm not speeding these ones up because I don't have enough resources at the moment to make it worthwhile. But one thing I do want to do is go to training. And we're going to do about like 20 of these just so we have a little bit of variance because cyborgs are pretty much great in every single mission right they're pretty much amazing in every single mission if you go to this mission disease outbreak cyborg are always plus plus right but you can see the doctor's actually plus plus as well so it's important to have that variety and also if you do have times where you can't play the game that much what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to build up your helpers and build up your resources at the same time rather than just sort of being in a position where you're spending RLM, okay? So, let's just recap where we're at. So last time I finished Season 14, Season 4, Bronze 13, which is quite good. Season Journey, so this is important when you start out. Season Journey, you get some resources for Level 2, XP for Level 3, Titanium for Level 50, for Level 4, sorry, and Level 5, you get RLM. And at, at Level 5, that's when you can then open up Asia, okay? So you see here, it says North America, level 10. So I need to get to level 10 on this season journey. So go through this step, get my RLM, and then I can then unlock North America, okay? But bear in mind, if you're a new player, something very important to consider is this goes up, okay? So you might be looking at this going, okay, it's 1.48 RLM. When I was, before I opened up Asia, this was like 0 0.79. So it's, it's effectively doubled in price, okay? It's doubled in price, but what is the reason for me opening up Asia as quickly as I can? So the reason I've opened up Asia as quickly as I can is because you want access to these higher level missions, okay? These higher level missions are really important for leveling up. They not only give you reputation and experience, they're going to allow you to get these key markers much quicker okay so if you have more people working more resources going more storage more all this stuff right it's going to be better sure things may be more expensive right but if you play the game correctly and you and you work out a strategy that works for you i personally think it's better to spend your time opening up stuff quicker rather than just staying in africa because i could have stayed in africa right and just focus on leveling these up as quickly as i could that's a viable strategy, in my opinion, right? It's a viable strategy, but it's not one I wanted to do because I wanted those research labs there as quickly as I possibly could. So I have two research labs, both researching at the same time because they're, in the long run, going to save a decent amount. You know, if you're looking at a building speed and you're saving 5% on a three-hour upgrade, you know, that's a considerable chunk of time, guys. Again, training speed, you get 15%, 5% increase on that. That's a massive chunk of time. It's like having a boost going all the time. So you want to be doing this whenever you can. Training costs, again, this is going to be something that's just stacking up. So if you start, you know, let's say you're spending 45 and you get that reduced, you're now looking at around 44. So it's small differences in this game, right? But you need to spend a lot of resources to get these tokens down in the future. But once you do, you really see the rewards. Again, with helpers, you know, effectively what you want to look looking at here is the training speed and the training cost. So I'm currently using Doctor, as I mentioned, and Cyborg. So obviously as soon as I up level up, 
another one on my training. So they're currently level one, both of them. As soon as I level up another one, I'm going to have an ability to level up another character. So I want to make sure I have the resources ready to make it cheaper for me to use that character. Okay. So there's a lot to take in. But if you've played Realm before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if it's your first time, here's a piece of advice for you. Okay. This button up here is amazing. The game guide button is really, really helpful. So it just gives you an overview on how to start. So what I talked about here at the beginning, build your headquarters in Africa, assign a leader, construct buildings, train helpers, send them out on a mission, claim your missions and upgrade. That's the game in eight sentences. Okay. But there's a lot more than that. So if you look at the buildings, it goes through, you know, the individual buildings, the max level, all of that sort of stuff. If you go through the leaders, it just gives you an overview into like the RLM, how much RLM they make, all of that sort of stuff. Okay. If you have a platinum, then you're laughing. If you don't, then, you know, try and get a five star. If we go over to here, you'll see the helpers. These are just basically some like soldier is always going to be good in a, in a country at war, but it's not going to be very good in a disease outbreak. Whereas a doctor is going to be good in a disease outbreak, but not very good in a war. All right. Or maybe, no, maybe good in a war, but not very good in a uh, political protest. Whereas a, a lawyer, great in a political protest. So you want to make sure you have a nice variety. Okay. So now we know the helpers, we know what they do. Let's go to the equipment. So the equipment's probably something to worry about a little bit later if you're a new player. But each equipment can be put on a on a character. So if you go to my NFTs, you see I've got equipment on my characters. You see here, there's actually a blank slot for this guy, and there's actually a lock sign. So you could actually spend a thousand RLM to unlock this slot. But obviously, you know, think very carefully about if you want to do that because I did it on a lot of characters, and I don't think I needed it. You know. And then we go to boosts. So these boosts, um, as you guess, you know, they provide boosts, right? So bonus, bonus, bonus. And there's different time lengths, okay? So this card here is a 12-hour bonus for 100%, whereas this train and cost one is only three hours, okay? So if you go to my active boost, you'll see I applied it in the morning. This one has nine and a half hours left, and this one has 35 hours left, so 35 minutes left. So in literally 35 minutes at about 11 o'clock for me, I'm going to have to go and add more boosts there, okay? So yeah, nice little understanding on that. And then the last topic we have to talk about is FAQ. So I'll probably read through this yourself if you have any questions, um, because it's probably quite good that you know it. But, you know, if there's any questions that you haven't quite got yet, they'll definitely be in the FAQ. Because I remember when I first started, I was a bit confused. I was in the training and I was like, how the hell do I get this to work? Um, but, you know, it, it takes time. And then finally, we have the little individual things so some things you might miss so if you go to the transport and you can go to the transport you see truck plane ship you can actually upgrade these as well and i 100 percent recommend you do because the you know the truck in, in its own is an amazing piece of kit it's so handy the plane earns titanium which is going to be great for you if you want to do two things in the game the two uses for titanium right now are if you go to the store and you go to boost you'll see you can buy this boost here for 500 titanium, this one for 2,000, and this one for 4,000, okay? But I've only got 161, so what am I going to do with it? Well, in the future, if you go to unlock a new slot and you upgrade this and you get a new slot, what's going to happen is you get a slot here and you can actually put a technology center down. And a technology center allows you to start leveling up your levels, okay? So if we go to the rankings and see this guy here, you see his average tech level is nine, okay? This guy is absolutely sweating the game. Fair play to him. You know, he's doing really well. Nine tech level. So his average tech level is currently nine, which has given him a massive bonus over everyone else right now. If you look at, you know, RLM Hound is on three. Realmaholic, 7.5. Mine is zero. So I'm not even close to that right now, guys. So <laughs> still got some way to go. So what we're going to do... We're going to try and upgrade this as quickly as we can and get that technology center and start spending my titanium, okay? But yeah, guys, Season 5 is here. And to celebrate Season 5, look what I have in my inventory. <laughs> I have a little pack. I have a little pack ski. So let's open it up, see if we get anything good. Um, as you know from a previous video, these packs are amazing value, okay? So you're guaranteed to get a 4 or 5 star leader, one helper card, one treasure token, rail epic, one epic boost card, 
or legendary. Uh, but legendary is a really small percent, percent chance. And then, you know, the leaders, you know, you're most likely to walk away with two star and three stars, okay? Uh, you know, four star leader is 4.4%, five star leader is 1%, and the platinum leader is 0.6%. So savage, savage from the realm team. But we're going to open up this pack and then we're going to call it a day. Next time, I'm sure Zeph will be here to talk about his strategy. But, you know, he's, there's a lot going on in Australia with the weather right now. So, you know, you have to be patient with him. But we're going to open this up and then we're going to call it a day, guys. So let's hope. Let's hope we get something good, man. Because we need this. We need this for the series. We need it to keep the gang motivated. Because we're going for the top spots. We're going for the top spots in RLM. We're going for the top spots, man. We're in the gold league, so there's no playing around. So let's get into it. Come on. Give me something good. Okay. Okay. We've got a four star, three star, epic calculator. Okay. Okay, this isn't the best pack I've ever got. So, a trucker, two-star, meh. Engineer card, I've already got one of them, that's great. Hacker, two-star, rare treasure token. Epic transport capacity is actually quite good. Uh, epic calculator, actually really good as well. Uh, three-star celebrity, three-star politician, one-star professional, and a four-star politician. So, not too bad. Uh, if we go to perform your leader blends here, one thing I want to make very clear to you guys, okay? is if you go to the blends in the game i believe this has been turned off right now okay so maybe don't do this right now but the advantage of doing this is that you can actually save xp so if you go to the show more and let's say we just have like a, a few one stars we want to blend that to a two star like you know i'm not sure if we have any generals there but effectively uh, I, th I think we maybe could do this one instead Okay, now we don't have any of these. But effectively, what you do is you mix the XP of all of these and it goes to a new card. So previously, if you did a blend here, you would lose all the XP. And that was a bit of a problem. So now if you blend, you get a nice little bonus. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you before we end it is what's coming up for the season. Because this is really important. Mark it in your diaries because, you know, it's a really important thing to know. Okay. So we're just going to pull up the announcements channel for Realm. And then we're just going to show you a little bit about um, a little bit about what's to come in the season. Because there's a really awesome event coming up. And uh, it's definitely one you want to be checking. Okay, So here's the Season 5 schedule. Um, you can see here, if we just click on this, open the original, here we go. So Season 2, 5, sorry, <laughs> Season 5 schedule. 2nd of November, the season begins. The 6th of November, the Season 5 promo entries begin. 11th to 13th, the Double Mission XP Speed Weekend. Definitely want to be playing that that weekend. We have the 16th of November, the Season 5 promo snapshot. And then we have 18th to 20th, we have a Double XP. 25th to 27th, Research Bonus Weekend. And 4th to 6th is a global event. And then on 7th of December... The season ends okay so we have literally 35 days to get as much reputation rlm research technology all about good stuff okay so now is the time to be playing the game hard because i joined season four about halfway through maybe less than halfway through and i still did quite well so i'm going for the i'm going for the win man i'm going for the throat i'm going for the win realmaholic watch out my friend i'm coming for you man <laughs> anyway look Guys, I know you enjoy these videos, so hope you please hope you enjoyed. Let us know in the comments, you know, what you guys are doing. What's your strategy? Because your strategy is probably different to mine. You know, what is your strategy and what are you doing? How can we help each other become the best realm players we possibly can and to make everyone have a better experience, okay? So guys, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. We'll probably see you in about two days for a new episode where we probably hopefully opened up North America. So it's getting crazy out here, man. See you next week.